We first laid eyes on this petite chateau in Brittany back in 2018. It took us an entire year to negotiate the sale. Don't ask, it was complicated. We had sold our flat in San Francisco and moved to France to begin our new lives. And this week marks our three-year anniversary in our very own chateau. So we're um, here in the garden drinking champagne because we're celebrating three years of living in the chateau, right? Yes. Yes. You're very excited, aren't you? I am. Well, we survived. We, we made it, yes. We made it. It hasn't been easy. So cheers. Cheers. Yeah, we never celebrate anything, do we? No, not really. No, we, we there's don't. There's always on to the next. Right. It's like there's a birthday. Um, okay, that's good. Um, yeah, we don't celebrate birthdays or we go, hey, hey, happy birthday. Yeah, good job. You made it another year. <laughs> anniversary. Was anniversary. Just, oh, yeah. Oh, oh was yeah. It, wait. Yesterday was our anniversary, right? Okay. How long have we been married? We, that we completely lose so, track of that. It's been... Three years we've lived in France, lived in the Chateau, and it hasn't all been exactly easy, has it? Uh, no. It's not all fun and games like they show you on well, TV. We, we've learned to temper our expectations. We had all these grand ideas of what we were going to do, thinking we'd get them done quickly. And that well, didn't happen. And, and that's just not the way it works, because well, life is going on at the same time. You have to sort of realize that things take time. There's always tomorrow. Well, you never know. I mean, you could fall down the steps again, and <laughs> this time it could be death. <laughs> he did fall down the steps and yes. broke his wrist, but we do have children, and um, that was a big deal, getting them acclimated to a new life, a new language. So plan when we arrived was to start renovating immediately, and like Lincoln said, that didn't happen. The basic things just took us a great deal of time to work through. Wow. Yeah, so how have our lives changed since we moved to France? We wear a lot of linen now. Yeah. Yes. We get excited for things that we wouldn't have gotten excited for living mm -hmm. in San Francisco, like buying new ladders. When we arrived, our main concern was keeping warm for the upcoming winter in a big stone house. As you can see, it's still a bit drafty in certain places. I don't think the candle should be flickering like this indoors. <laughs> okay. I'll have some more too. We had to move because it was too sunny. Yeah, we're sitting down, Lincoln not because we're tipsy, but because we, <laughs> we were standing in the sun and it was getting very hot. Uh, give me a minute, I will get tipsy. <laughs> no, but, um, so what are our plans for the future? We still have a lot to do. Things take a long time for us since it's only two of us and we occasionally have somebody to come and help. Our friend is here maybe once a week and he's a great help. We were going to have someone do the bathroom for us, but we've decided to tackle the job ourselves. So that's... That means me. That means him. Way. No, I can help. I, I can help. I'm good at, you know, do that. Yeah. No. You're the taskmaster. No, yes. no, no. No, I'm really not. Um, I'm more of the organizer. Yes. Yes, you are. So the bathroom that. is a big job. So we're standing in our, our side door entry, and when you enter, on the right-hand side was, and I guess still is, a bathroom. We're supposed to be remodeling the upstairs one. Which is directly above this. Okay, so what are you doing down here? We've got some things to remove from here. There's old uh, lead water pipe 
that goes up that was originally from our well, which we don't use in the house anymore. So we're going to get that out of here. And that was enclosed behind the wall. So I had to get the wall down and um, we're eventually opening this room up. It's a fairly modern addition that was cut out of this area. So this is basically, you, you walk in to the right and um, it's this box, really. Yeah. So it's got two walls and then... It's got a drop ceiling, too. And then um, this will be, this wall will be gone. So it'll and be opened one. up again. And we're going to make this recess here, um, build it out a little bit, and it, we're going to have our washer and dryer in there and have a door. So it's like a closet, I guess. So it's basically a mud room with a right. washer and dryer. And we're so going to tile be, this area. Yeah, so we'll tile and hopefully heated floors beneath. Yeah. yeah. So this is where we come in when our shoes are all dirty. Yeah, and that happens most of the time. 75% <laughs> of the year. There's we, a drop ceiling, so. We want to get rid of that. And, yeah. we, and we still need to figure out there are so many uh, water pipes around. We still need to figure out where the water that's getting upstairs is coming from because it's not going up there. Mm. Um, oh. So we need to figure that out. That's a that's a, <laughs> that's something important, I would imagine. And they boxed in the ceiling downstairs, so a lot of the water pipes are hidden. So it's very so basically, to there's a lot of demolition. Right. To be done. Just, just to be able to figure out what's where and uh, what's to, what. In order to get the. Right. The ugly bathroom. Yeah. I mean, this was a pretty ugly bathroom. This, but, this was definitely ugly. And it's interesting because, look at, I mean, this is the tile, but... It's the same tile they used upstairs. You found a newspaper stuffed in the wall it's from 1994. 1994, so that's... So I'm assuming recent. that's when this bathroom and the one upstairs... Are we taking down the walls soon? We'll, we'll save that for last, I think, just okay. because I'd like to be able to close it off so the, the cats don't come in here. Um, oh, I'll yeah. pull down okay. the ceiling mm -hmm. and do everything from the inside, but I think we'll still leave the two walls up until we're ready to really, when we're done, done. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, that just that makes more like sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Simultaneously, I'm trying to finish the guest room, and the cottage has to be addressed because we have a big beam that needs to be replaced. Right. Right. And my big project, uh, which I remind Lincoln of every day, is the kitchen renovation. Which is a, a huge project. Because that involves taking down a wall. We need to get the cottage sorted and put right. a kitchen in the cottage before we can start on well, I, main I, house kitchen. I'm a chef by trade. I used to be. I don't cook for money anymore, right. <laughs> but I have to have a kitchen. Yeah, we'll, we'll show it right before we demo it. We do get some messages from people asking about volunteers. And yes, we, we will have volunteers. We just have to figure out a place for the volunteers to stay comfortably because we don't want somebody coming and living in a tent. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. You're more than welcome to. I'll feed you, but that's not an ideal situation. Right. So we need right. to get that sorted. You know, when we moved in, our plan was to start a B&B. &B, but as you can see, the, the renovation of the cottages has taken longer than anticipated. So <laughs> Three years and counting. You know, everything was all was in a sort of decent state when we moved in and it's more just cleaning things up and um, fixing cracks fixing plaster yeah nothing is um, there's not nothing falling apart structural really. that yeah. aside from the cottage that we're right. dealing with so it's um, I think that's why we've waited so long yeah. come on doggies
The outbuildings are quite beautiful, but left neglected for decades. It's a big job, but slowly we're hoping to bring them back to life. One day, while digging around outside, as one does, I discovered a cement slab in front of this smaller outbuilding. We uncovered it and saw that the cement was cracked in several places, so we went ahead and added gravel. Part of the reason I fell in love with this property was because of the walled garden. It sits on half an acre, and little did I know how much time, energy, and hard work starting a garden from scratch would actually take. After we rehomed the geese, the work began. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have something to say, leave us a comment.